YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the FC Pro Live promo, what content we can be expecting from that and what investments we can be making over the weekend to make coins. But before we get into all that, we gotta talk about content today on Thursday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was nothing crazy. It was usual Thursday content. We got rival rewards. We got marquee matchups. We did get Bundesliga Player of the Month and a foundation SBC. Here we go. Where is the marquee matchups? It is international marquee matchups because it's international break. It's how it always is. And when it's international break, international marquee matchups, trading wise, it's not super crazy. So nothing insane today. There wasn't like a Valencia player going to 7,000 coins. Nothing insane with this. Maybe like a few filters where you could hop on, make a couple hundred coins, but nothing crazy. That was international marquee matchups. And then we got Bundesliga player of the month. I think they're all just going to be all the way back here. Wurtz, uh, I think it costs like just over 20,000 coins. It's nothing crazy. I mean his card doesn't look insane what is it an 84 83 with 186 minimum if you like words go for it but i mean if they gave him 80 pace i'd maybe give him like a 5 out of 10 but 79 pace i'm gonna give it a, a 4 out of 10 that's that's what we'll do also apologies for this video being so late it was game day we tied 3-3 i don't want to talk about it um all right holgate is the foundation for today and he's not terrible not a terrible card work rates kind of suck and uh i mean a lot of these foundations that ea have been releasing are just fairly meh that's how i'll describe it they're very meh it's nothing crazy uh i feel like previous years they used to be kind of decent like i remember the liga portugal squad foundations we had your rebay he was almost a whole gang midfielder i think he was really good like the squad foundations used to be good but it's just not this is probably one of the best ones we've had but still it's nothing crazy it's nothing crazy so it is what it is uh that was content for today and that's that for content let's get into the market so market what happened uh stuff's down more team of the week it rose for like a split second team of the weeks were so expensive they rose for a split second before content they were about like 40 41 and they rose to 43 44 for like a, a tiny tiny bit and then they just they crashed they're down at 35k uh maybe they go up slightly whoa hello uh maybe it's interesting maybe they go up slightly before content tomorrow on friday but wouldn't expect anything crazy. I will say tomorrow on Friday, the Hero SBC does refresh and there is a Team of the Week requirement in that. But what also comes out on Friday, Team of the Week SBCs come out on Friday. So we tend to see fodder on, we, we tend to see Team of the Weeks on Friday drop because there's a Team of the Week SBC. You don't need to go buy a Team of the Week. You just do the SBC and you get a Team of the Week. So that's how Team of the Weeks did. Uh, let's talk about fodder fodder got even lower 83s are down at like one two one three when yesterday before rival rewards they were one eight instantly selling at one seven so they are down as expected i told you guys 83s after rival rewards they always drop they peak wednesday for like one to two hours after content and then it's just down from there it's been the same trend i think for the past month it's the same exact trend with 83s so uh if you do have 83s still you can just hold till black friday it's as simple as that just hold your 83s till black friday i'm hoping 84s 84s were down at 2800 coins as you can see i'm still lazy listing them um i'm just keeping them till black friday but all the ones that sell for three four i'm just putting those coins into 83s to hopefully double my coins but it's looking good i'll, I'll pull up fodder right now it's it's low it was lower 
earlier as well, which is crazy. And this is good because we want this fodder to get low. We want to be able to full send this fodder before Black Friday. It's as simple as that fodder, Black Friday. We want to full send. If it can get lower this weekend, that is amazing. I think the 85s were like 6, 7, 6, 8, 84s. They're back up a tiny bit, but they were down bad. And I'm hoping we can see them dip a little bit more. The bids were actually pretty decent today after uh, marquee matchup supply and maybe people panic selling some of their fodder. There was a lot of supply if you were in the stream, we were hopping on bids. Here's a little tip for a filter. If you guys are buying 83s this weekend, it, whenever there's a lot of supply or people are just listing up a bunch of cards, whether it's like an SBC comes out and the rating doesn't get required, hop on bids for fodder. I've told you guys this multiple times, like Sunday when the uh, Hero SBC didn't require 84s, we saw a lot of 84s and 83s get listed on the market and there were a lot of really good deals on bid where 84s that were 3.5 were going on bid for 1.2. So just a little filter I want to give you guys. You can do it over the entire weekend. If there's a lot of people bidding on fodder, it's going to be a little tough. But in general, this is I'm just going to do the 83 filter, the 84 filter. I'll put it in my VIP discord. If you guys want to join the VIP discord, you just have to sub to my Twitch channel. If you have Amazon Prime, you guys can sub for free. Join the VIP Discord for free every single month. It's free 99 costs you nothing to join. Supports your coin balance and supports the streams. This is the filter though for 83. So you're going to go 850, 950. And then whatever the price 83s are, right now 83s are like 1, 2, 1, 3. So we'll put them in by now at 1, 3. But let's say over the weekend, 83s are down at 1, 1. We'll go min by now, 1, 1. It's just... 850 because the start price of 83s is 850 coins and then we'll go 950 because let's we want to buy them for a thousand you might have to up it if it was really difficult last weekend to buy the fodder on the weekend because everybody was buying the fodder so you couldn't really get too many deals you might have to up it let's say 83s are one one you might have to up this to like 1k and bid a little bit higher but Let's just search. You'll see this should give us a good amount of 83s. It's late, but still right there. 83, 1,000 coins. I'll toss a bid. I can't. I am uh, I'm in the unassigned, so I can't do that. But just a filter like this, whenever there's a decent amount of supply or people panic selling a bunch of cards, is a great time. It's a great time to hop on a filter like this. Right now, it's late at night. Maybe not as many cards being listed, but that could also mean not as many eyes on the cards. So I might be able to get some decent deals like this one. Is anyone even going to bid on that 83? She might even go without a bid. Do I have any deals that I had from earlier? Yeah, you can see this was earlier. Just me casually doing the filter. And yeah, there you go with the filter. Now, why are we buying? What fodder are we buying? Uh, what fodder do you have? Should you hold? Should you sell? So low rated fodder, uh, basically any fodder going into the next two weeks should go up in price you have high rated fodder that's fine you have low rated fodder that's fine high rated fodder we do still have an icon sbc this is ea they tweeted about their upcoming content we still have not gotten an icon player sbc so that's got to come out friday saturday sunday the next three days one of those days we need the icon sbc so i'd say i wouldn't be surprised if it's tomorrow on friday maybe we get like a fc pro live sbc and then we get an icon SBC as well. So high rated fodder. And then next week as well, we should be getting Mbappe player of the month. So that's another reason for high rated fodder to do good. Now, would I be investing in high rated fodder? No, I think low rated fodder is more profitable. But say you have a life, you have a job, you don't have a lot of time, you can go ahead and buy high rated fodder because I mean, they're 24k, you won't have to buy a lot. If you have two mil, you have to buy like 80, 88 overall cards. If you have two mil, you'd have to buy close to 2,083 overall cards. So you see the difference. It, yeah, there's a big difference. But uh, the, usually the lower in rating you go, the better. Now, so that's the high rated fodder, why you would be buying that. All the SBCs coming up. I would wait till this weekend though. You got to wait till Foot Champs opens, a lot of pack supply on fodder. You can get some good deals on bid. Definitely wait for, you know, the weekend to come around, Foot Champs supply. Uh, why would you be buying low rated fodder? Here's the Black Friday promo last year on FIFA 23. They do a best of team of the week. They do a bunch of SBCs and we're going to take a peek at it. So it started, I believe on the 25th. It was either the 25th or the 24th. Let's just go with the 25th. You can wait. Uh, just wait. I don't care. I don't know what that is. Uh, 25th. So 
Day one of the Black Friday promo. What do we get? We get an 85 plus double upgrade. This was repeatable five times as well, and it refreshed two days later. Yeah, it was the 25th because that's Black Friday. Get that off my screen. Uh, 85 plus double day one. Day one as well. What did we get? A an hour and a half after the 85 double an 84 plus upgrade and then continuing on we got an 83 plus player pick that same day later on and then we continue on to the next day day two on the 26th 81 plus double upgrade 81 plus double upgrade uh we also got messy flashback somewhere back here where was it yeah messy flashback sbc uh day two why does it keep popping up Day two, we get, I don't know what this is, Carvalho, Jimenez, oh, Showdown SBC, um, Road to World Cup, I think maybe that was like some promo cards. We got an Icon SBC, day two, and then day three, we got a Hero SBC. So as you can see, it's just a lot of SBCs, a lot of reasons for our lower rated fodder to rise. I mean, all those SBCs, it's, it's very good for low rated fodder, and we've seen it. We look at the current SBCs. We have an 84 triple right now. It's only an 83 overall squad. We have a 84 road to the knockout trailblazer right now. I think it's only as well an 83 overall squad. Let me just double check. So a lot of these gamble SBCs are fairly low rating and it is good for our low rated fodder. That's why we want to full send it. Like I told you guys before, last year, Black Friday, low rated fodder does really good. If you check out my tweet, I got to scroll down a little bit. It goes over everything right here. Black Friday is November 24th. Are you ready to full send an investment? In this video, I go over. How Fodder did during Black Friday last year on FIFA 23. How did Fodder do? I'm not even going to let it play. I don't even know if it would go through on the video because the way my audio goes through is weird. But you can watch this video. Uh, 83s off the top of my head were like eight to 900 after Black Friday. A few days after they were over 2000. Um, 84s were like 25, 26, 27, somewhere in that range. They went to over 5K, I think close to 6K. 80 85s did pretty solid 85s as well their price ranges got updated their max price was 10k and their price ranges got updated to 14k so a little interesting i was thinking black friday they'd go extinct but it is nice to see now that their price range is above 10,000 coins because they were all capped at 10k they almost went extinct the other week they were what nine something if we go 14 day yeah they were up at 9k some of them were even higher they're close Close to going extinct, close but no cigar. So that is why you guys can buy low fodder. I'm not going to be giving any prices right now because like I, I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow on Friday. I don't know if it's a really good promo. There's a lot of pack supply. We could see fodder drop. Uh, if maybe a good SBC comes out with the FC Pro Live promo, we could see fodder rise. I can't really predict it. But if I was going to maybe guess, I'd say 83s for a thousand or less. I'd say 84s for 2,500 or less. And I would say 85s, maybe like 6.5, something like that. And uh, yeah, that'd be my take. I'm not going to go into the higher rated fodder. It, I, I would prefer for it to drop more. But uh, I will be live tomorrow on Friday. So if you want to come join the stream, say, hey, Teddy, what do we think about this? I'll probably put a list as well. I tend to do this. Do I have it right now? What's this say? Yeah, I tend to put a list of investments that I like. So if you join the stream, I'll have something like that in the corner. You can see it right here. I'll put something up and yeah. So join the Twitch live stream. That's in the description down below. So that is fodder. What else do we have? Uh, let's just go over leaks and then that's pretty much it. So we did get a leak for an evolution. Let me switch this window capture and we are over here. Uh, left wings are going up in price. So left wing evolution, 81 rating, 82 pace, 80 passing, 85 dribbling, 75 physicality. Uh, this is foot police's discord. He said this evolution should come until Sunday. I don't know what he means by that. He might be saying it comes out on Sunday or it won't come until after Sunday, something like that. Uh, but he says because of that, EA have a lot of time to change the requirements. So this could change but that is the leak now i'm just letting you guys know that i do not think you should trade with that too many people are getting banned so many people are getting banned trading with evolutions it's not worth it like oh yeah yo look my evolution just went from a thousand coins to eight thousand coins look at this 
My evolution went from 1k to extinct at 10k. Yeah, crazy profit. But guess what? EA is banning like all of those people or they're coin wiping them and just taking all the coins off of their account. It's just an automated system that they have. They think you're transferring coins. They think you're cheating the game or something. It's just don't do it. It's not worth it. The profit looks nice, but it's not worth the risk of your account. I would not do it, but I'm just letting you guys know that is the leak. Uh, the best players for that, I think, were like St. Maximin. Um, if we go to trending, I know St. Maximin, Trossard, and those are the only two I know. Those are the only two left wings that I know. And yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I didn't even look at the objective for... No, we did look at the objective. Okay. I was going to say we didn't look at the squad foundation objective. Uh, we went over Black Friday, what we're getting. Let's talk about leaks now for the promo. I want to mention these are packs that got modified. UCL Glory, don't know. Season 2. Season 2 is coming out for season objectives. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully we can get some good rewards. I... Not sure it's a pack that gives XP. It's kind of interesting. Uh, FC Pro Live Premium, big boy pack. FC Pro Live Foundations pack. Just some big boy packs. Elite Season number one, Encore, 40 rare golds. Two guaranteed, whoa. Two guaranteed to be a road to the knockout or trailblazer. I didn't even read through these actually. I just thought it was going to be like a big pack. That could actually make road to the knockouts come down. I bet they're down in price a little bit. Let me, Modric is trending right here. Are they down in price a little bit? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, doesn't seem like it's that bad. No. Doesn't seem like it's that bad, but I bet when that pack does come out, people will panic a little bit, but hey, it's untradeable. So if you do see any panic, whenever this pack does come out, could be a decent move to actually look and buy the panic because it's an untradeable pack. That's actually really interesting. Another one giving out the one guaranteed Road to the Knockout or Trailblazer 85 or higher. Dang, these packs are actually kind of juiced. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Um, 11 gold player pack, including one rare. It's weird. I don't know what that would be. And then 87 plus times three rare gold player pack. This could be season rewards, but that could also be an SBC. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, big boy pack big big boy pack so that's kind of uh interesting and continuing through leaks we're gonna take a peek at foot sheriff we have all the fc pro live cards let's just start from the top up here so we have Simicon is coming remember these are live cards and they're linked to a pro player i don't know who they're linked to exactly i don't know much about the pro scene but they will upgrade based on how far the pro goes in the tournament Simicon could be a really solid card just kind of stinks because you got an Upa Makano team of the week that looks better, but is what it is. Makengo, this guy looks decent. Uh, if he's low in rating, it's an inform upgrade. So an 84 would go to an 86. That double upgrade, if he gets one upgrade, would make him Hullet Gang. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Semicon again. We have Mane. Sadio Mane is getting a card. That'll be a nice one. We have Willian. They could low key make Willian decent. We have Kolo Muani. This Kolo Muani is probably going to be cracked honestly it's probably going to be juiced uh genru probably pronounced that terribly another 84 double upgrade would be close to hullet gang if ea are generous they'll make them hullet gang with one upgrade and then uh the next one should be calvin phillips i think calvin phillips would be linked to tex i think tex is from england uh so if calvin phillips is linked to tex it's gonna be the most hyped card and uh i think he's the best pro that's what everyone was saying in my chat so if that's the case he'd probably get a lot of upgrades malin is getting a card what else do we have oh new pack road to the knockout trailblazer or centurion player pack i don't think i called that out really interesting we're probably going to get that next week on tuesday it seems like last tuesday we got road to the knockout upgrade this tuesday we got road to the knockout or trailblazer upgrade and then next week would be road to the knockout or trailblazer or centurion party bag so i mean if they do the same thing again 83 overall squad team of the week we'll see uh where are we at where are we at where are we at where are we at kolomani and i think that is it for the leaks yeah oh locatelli and lozano were the other two but i think those were in the previous video those two are going to be sbcs so expect locatelli expect lozano 
and an icon SPC in the next few days. Did I get everything? We talked about the pack code. Icon SPC, expect the icon SPC, 89 max icon to be on Sunday. I had people asking me if I thought high rated fodder would be good for the icon SPC, but no. Why would it be? It's not going to require a high rated squad. Look at the hero. They made the hero. It was the best hero SPC we've had. They made it the cheapest hero SPC we've had. So it's not going to be expensive. It'll be probably around 100k, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. They could go 84, 86 overall squad. They could go 84 squad, 85 squad. Somewhere in the low range, I would be shocked if they do 85 squad team of the week requirement again. That'd be kind of crazy, but uh, expect that on Sunday. Uh, similar to previous. SP yeah, okay. And um, real quick before we finish it, market. If you guys have a team, sell them before content tomorrow on Friday. I have my Kyle Walker. I have one more game and I have my rival wins. I want to get into division one. But uh, once I get into division one, I'm selling my team tomorrow before content drop on Friday. You don't want to hold your team really ever going into a content drop on Friday. If you buy anything on Friday, make sure it's sold like six hours before content drop on Saturday. And Sunday is always the market low. If you buy stuff on Sunday, you can hold it until Monday, Tuesday, and you can usually make coins. And that's it, guys. Any questions, comment section down below. Trading Discord, Twitch, live stream, description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.